Hey, welcome to my channel. Today's message is someone feels like without you, their life is incomplete. Now, before I get into the message, you know, I gotta let you know that this message may resonate with you or it may not. And that's okay because every message may not be for you but this message is for somebody so take what resonates and leave what does not all right now let's get into this message so today's channel message i was actually channeling a song called incomplete by cisco and the song goes even though it seems I have everything, I don't want to be a lonely fool. All of the women, all of the expensive cars, all the money don't amount to you. So I can make believe I have everything, but I can't pretend that I don't see that without you, girl, my life is incomplete. Without you, girl, my life is incomplete. All right. So that's a little sample of the song that I was channeling today. But basically, someone feels like without you, their life is incomplete. And there's nothing or anyone that can fill that void. So next, let's get into these cards here, which most definitely confirms the message. The first card here is the Ten of Swords. This is definitely letting me know that, you know, this is someone you ended things with. I feel like this was a very painful ending due to some type of betrayal. But with the wheel card, this person wants to come back around because they feel like you are their destiny. And they see you as being their true love. So with the Knight of Cups, I feel like they are going to come in with a peace offering with the hopes of re reuniting with you and balancing things out between the two of you. With the Two of Pentacles, this person wants to make things right between you two. All right. So next, I would like to get some cards from my deck to get some more information on this person and how they feel about you, all right? first card first card flipped out of my deck is the 555 change card all right it says good luck transformation freedom and personal growth so this person has changed a lot all right this lets me know with this being the first card that has came out i feel like this person wants you to know that they have really changed i feel like spirit is saying that this person has really changed um major transformation has definitely grown a lot since you last seen this person or communicated with this person or been you know was with this person this person really has changed a lot for the better all right whatever happened i feel like between the two of you is very life-changing for this person I feel like I feel like it really woke this person up, you know. 
and it, I feel like it made this person really put some things in perspective in their in their life and you know really you know take notice of some things you know maybe about themselves but this person really um, came to the realization when it came to the to things about this person that they may have needed to change. Um, the next card that flipped over in my deck is the mysterious card, okay? It says difficult or impossible to understand, explain, or identify. I feel, I feel like this person may um, see you as being um, a bit mysterious. be hard to read okay so these two cards came out together so this is confirmation that this person that there's definitely no contact no communication um and then the next card is the never lower your standards and I feel like, you know, you know your worth, you know, is why you may have had to let this person go. I'm also getting that this person know that in order to come back, that this person, you know, into your life, this person had to change some things, you know, this person had to improve, this person had, had to better themselves, this person know that they can't come to you any type of way, you know, any other way. They know they have to come to you correct because you're not settling anymore. You're not settling for um, less than what you deserve. And I feel like that kind of like, I guess, maybe pushed this person or motivated this person to get their shit together is what I'm getting, you know? Because I'm getting that you, you stop putting up with this person BS. This person see you as being creative. Let me put this right here. Super empath. I feel like this is you, you're a super empath very giving, very loving, very helpful, you know. For some of you, we have ex-lover. This is a ex-lover. We have the social media card and I spy. So both of these cards came out together. This person definitely watch you on social media. Um, for some of you, all of your social media platforms, this person definitely keeps an eye on you. They still watch you, okay, through social media. They like to see what you're doing, what you're up to, have you moved on, you know. They, like, they love to keep an eye on you. person see you as being um very refreshing you know you're like a breath of fresh air to this person this person loves your energy this person loves your vibe we have protect your peace trauma free this could be why you ended things with this person you know um you have to start protecting your peace you know you want it to stay drama free person see you as being very peaceful you know um this person like i said confirmation really love your energy is very peaceful very healing and very zen you know and very calming i feel like you brought peace to this person when this person was in your life when this person was connected to you
we have thinks you are their soulmate. This is a soulmate connection. At least this is what this person really feels. This person feels a deep connection to you. And they love you more every day and you know what i feel like the more this person watch you this is someone i feel like sits back watch you study you baby this is why you're a little mysterious because it's like as much as this person watch you on social media you could have a platform where you do something but this person definitely sits back watch you study your social media and the more they learn about you, the more they see, um, the more that they things they find out about you, like they love you more. Um, and I feel like this person has realized like as much time that has passed, the love has grown strong. Maybe when you and this person part parted ways, um, once upon a time, you know, when y'all did end things and parted ways and whatnot, maybe this person thought that, you know, they could shake this feeling. Maybe they thought the love would go away. But I feel like this person has realized that um, the more and more time passed, the more and more their love grow, you know, for you. It's what I'm getting. This person feels like you seem unbothered. <laughs> we got unbothered AF. I feel like this is how this person see you. They wonder, okay, what I'm getting is this person wonder, do you still care? Do you still care about them the way you used to? Do you still love them the way, you know, you used to? Because what they have noticed is that they, their love has grown for you, okay? Their feelings have grown with you over time. Um, their feelings have grown for you over time and they're really wondering do you still care because they watch your social media and from your social media and stuff you seem unbothered you seem unfazed about the the um the separation is what i'm getting this person yeah this person love looking at your pictures baby yeah i also feel like this person has saved some of your pictures or a picture in particular they got saved in their phone they like to look at it mm -hmm. and this card came out as well beauty plus brains equals you this person they love it they, this is how they see you they see you as being someone who has beauty with brains. And they really like that about you. This, this person feels like you got it going on. <laughs> and we got 2024 is the year of knowing. I'm intuitively getting that this person knows that you are the one if this person didn't know before this person now this person knows you know this person knows that you are the one you are the one for them that's what i'm getting maybe it took this separation for this person to realize this going back to maybe this person thought like man I don't need you know what I mean I don't need you you know what I mean I don't need you don't be alright I can shake these feelings maybe this is somebody who really ignored did take their feelings that they had for you serious um, could have been the first time they ever felt like this for somebody 
you know, for you, um, for anybody, the feelings that this person had for you, maybe it was the first time they ever felt like this. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> this person, this person wants a, a deep commitment with you is what I'm getting. Look what we got here. This person wants a, a deep commitment. So this is someone who wants to come back and possibly make some type of offer to you. They want a deep, a deeper. They want a deeper the connection. They want a deep commitment with you. They want to commit to you. Is what I'm getting. You know, I'm looking at this. It was lust at first sight. When this person first laid eyes on you, or this person first met, met you, it was lust at first sight, baby. But over time, love grew. You know, it was love at first sight. This person was, you know, meaning this person was really, really attracted to you physically. And over time, this person started to catch really, really strong feelings for you. And I don't even think this person may have knew how to. Oh, I want to, oh, spirit, give me reciprocate. Like the love that you were showing and giving to this person. Because this person never had it before. And they never felt the way they feel about you. The way they felt about you. They never felt like that before about anybody. Um, they never felt like that before about anyone else. That's what I'm getting. Look what I'm looking at. Peeking through on the top. The truth. This person, he has been very authentic. They never had a... Um, Damn, I was gonna say a little like this, but they never had a like a very a, a true authentic connection like this with anyone. And I feel like this person may have been used to people um, taking or just wanting something, or being you know being maybe a tr um, mm, transactional type of connections with people, very transactional. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, baby. Um, but yeah, you know, transaction. But this was different. This was different. Look at that. This person see you as being the whole package. For some of you, this person won't marriage with you. Okay? This person may be proposing. That's for some of you. But I definitely feel like this person, they're coming back or they're going to reach out. They want to um, make things right. And they want to... Um, commit to you and this just could be like seriously like court you or whatnot or like propose for some of you because this person see you as being the whole package you know obsessed with watching you baby this person obsessed with watching you confirmation to the i spy social media card this person watches you a lot you know through social media everything you post all right let's see okay so this is someone who is ready to show you this is someone ready to prove to you um, their love or how much they care about you. Because we all did our stutter, stay, say what you mean and mean what you say. So this is someone who's ready to actually stand on business. This is someone who's willing to like prove to you and show you and put in the work that they are serious. This time is what I'm getting. That they really want to commit to this connection putting in effort you know putting in the, in the work and doing what it takes to win your heart win your love win your win your trust mm -hmm. because we are the shady card that flipped over in the deck this person may have kept was this person may have kept some things hidden from you in the past is what I'm getting. That wasn't as honest. That wasn't as truthful. And um, But I feel like this person wants to come in and... Damn, Spirit just said let their guard down this time. 
So this person may have had walls up before, you know what I mean? Um, they may have had walls up due to, you know, maybe past hurt, trauma, and things like that. But this is someone who wants to come in, let their, their walls down, and be honest with you now. All the way honest and truthful. And they really want to just show you, you know? This is someone who don't even want to do a lot of talk, and they want to just show you. If you give them the chance, the opportunity, because they want another chance with the will card. This person want another chance to do the right thing this time and to show you. Not necessarily tell you, but show you. Show you how much they change. Show you that they know how to treat you, you know? This is someone who wants to give you what you deserve. This is someone who wants to be all that they can be for you. Is why you were like a catalyst, I feel like, to this person's growth. It took you, I guess, walking away from this person or ending things with this person or this person no longer, you know, being able to connect with you, contact you, be around you or whatnot. But it, it took the loss of you for this person to um, wake up, you know. Um, you know, I always say, you know, you definitely, a lot of times people don't appreciate things and people until it's gone, you know. And we have your soul is beautiful. Yeah, you have a beautiful soul and this person feels deeply connected to you, you know. And this may be a soulmate, definitely, I feel like. This person feels a soul connection to you. We have natural attraction. This person find you, we got naturally dope. This person feels a natural attraction to you, a natural pull, magnetic pull towards you. Um, and this person just finds you to be naturally attractive on different, you know, many levels. That's what I'm getting. We got the observant card. I feel like this person is really observing you. But I feel like they're studying you, but it's kind of, it seemed like in a good way. Um... They're really paying attention to you now. I feel like maybe they didn't pay much attention to you or the connection before, but it's like they're really trying to learn you and study you. Um, like the things you like, you don't like. I don't know. They're really, they got their eye on you. I'll say that. Because I'm getting, I want to know what turned you on so I can be all that and more. I want to know. <laughs> so this person wants to know everything. He wants to know, he or she, ooh, but this feel like a he. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to lie. This feel like a masculine energy. Who is realizing they do it by a feminine has got away so it is what it is he came out this is a masculine energy i'll say that they want to know because they want to be all that and more they want to know the things that you like you don't like um they want to know um what turns you on you know what i mean because they want to be all that and more this is somebody who is changing for the better has changed a lot Yeah. Oh, cause look, all I do is think of you. All they do is think of you, baby. This person is caught up in the rapture of love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, I'm about to wrap this up, y'all. <clears throat> I'm really finna wrap this thing up. Cause this is somebody oof, missing you, baby. Missing you. They missing you. Sometimes, you know, people don't realize what they got until it's gone. You know what I mean? And this is the energy I'm getting with this person. You know? And it's like it's up to you at this at this point, you know, if this person come back in. But I will say this person has changed. You know what I mean? And this is not someone who was just saying, I changed. You know what I mean? This is someone who has actually been putting in the work. Okay, it may have took them a minute and 
taking them a minute to reach out to you, but it's because they really want to get themselves right before they make a move. Is what I'm getting before they bust a move. You feel me? Towards you or whatnot, you know. But wow, and they may have cried over this the loss of this connection as well. But they really miss you, and this is someone who thinks about you day and night. <laughs> All right, is what I'm getting. Ever since you've been gone. All right, and um. I definitely feel like this is somebody who will be reaching out for sure. They haven't given up on this connection is what I will say. We got to cre create healthy boundaries. I feel like that's what you have to do when it came to this connection. Because like I said, I feel like, you know, this person want to come back in and balance, th balance things out. Because maybe you used to overgive. You were the one who was putting so much effort into the connection, love, and showing, uh, you know, how much you really cared and loved this person. Maybe this person, you know, may have breadcrumbed you or whatnot, you know what I mean, in the past. Or show little effort. But they want to come in and make things right, you know what I mean? The man with the plan, they thinking. They thinking of a solution. You know, they're thinking of how they're going to come in and, you know what I'm saying, sweep you off your feet with the Knight of Cups. You know what I'm saying? They definitely want to come in with a peace offering. They may come in with some roses with a gift or something. You know what I mean? On the bottom of the deck, look, we got the exclusive card. Yeah. And this person likes that about you. This person likes that you're not easy and that you're, you're exclusive. And that you don't fool with everybody. They like that. And they like that. They like, you know, your self-respect. The self-respect that you have for yourself. On top of the deck, we got lighthearted, easy going, lay it back. I feel like this person likes how... Um, This person likes how lighthearted you are, but I'm also getting like this person like how young at heart you are, how kind hearted you are, how sweet you are, you know. And last but not least, I'm, I'm looking at this. I feel like, you know, this was you. <laughs> you like, I ain't, I'm, I'm ahead out. Don't have time for the BS, you know. You got to the point where you got tired of the BS. She was like, all right, deuces. Don't have time for the BS anymore. I'm head out. And you start living life for you. You start doing you, you know. You start putting that energy that you was trying to put into this person or this connection, this relationship, whatever it was. And you start focusing on yourself, loving on yourself, putting that energy into yourself. And look how these cards is lining up. Prepare yourself. I am coming back. So this person is coming back. Prepare yourself, baby. <laughs> All right. This person is on the way. Yay, 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 yay. All right. And that completes this message. All right. I thank you so much for your time. Until next time.